Is the executor responsible for any outstanding taxes of the deceased if the estate has no funds? The executor in just about every state to the fiduciary in charge of the estate with the will. Um, so once you pay for like final expenses and any legal expenses, there's no money for the taxes. They have to let the IRS know. So they would typically just settle the IRS and let them know that there's no money left. And the IRS will usually just let it go because they typically don't pursue claims against dead people. Really? Oh, that's um, kind of nice. But on the flip side though, they should file the deceased person's last tax return. So. If someone dies in like June, they still, and they had income from January to June, that next April, they'd still want to file their final tax return, which may generate a refund, which could offset some of the tax liability. Or if in a situation where they've actually, where the taxes were current, then they would just get the refund for the estate. Um, but they're responsible for dealing with the IRS. They don't have, they don't have to pay it from their own money. And under no circumstance ever should the executor use their own money to pay for something Unless they're willing to just treat it like a gift, mm -hmm. right. um, but they aren't legally obligated to pay the other the state's bills. Same thing with like medical expenses. Yep. Right. Um, they often will ask for you to pay them. You don't have to, unless you co-sign. Yeah, exactly. Why would you do that? That'd be very strange people. to co-sign. Yeah. Don't don't, um, don't co-sign the bills of terminally ill people. So so unless the debt is in your name, you don't have to. You're not reliable for it um if the debt is in the person's name it comes out of the estate though yeah right? you, you pay from the estate till there's no money you would typically do like a pro rata thing essentially everyone gets the same percentage of their bill paid so let's if there's five creditors that all have a collective like 200 dollars whatever it is everyone will get the same 25 or 30 whatever that right. percent of their bill paid so no no one creditor should benefit over the other creditors but yeah. that's kind of why people try to shift things and do trusts so that when it comes time to actually probate their estate, their estate is as small as possible. And it's, mm -hmm. it's all in one place. Like you know yeah. where the account is and where all the assets right. are. You know where it all is. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, like it. Let us know in the comments. And if you could share it, that'd be fantastic. Guys, we just created a PDF that will help you. James is going to talk about it. Yeah, it is a PDF ebook pamphlet called The Three Biggest Mistakes to Avoid in Estate Planning or something along those lines. And it is a primer for people that are starting to think about what they need to do uh, with regards to their own plans for the future. So go ahead and give it a read. Hopefully it's helpful. And if you have more questions, give us a call. The link to that is in the description down below. Click the first link down there and it will take you directly to that PDF where you can learn a bunch of stuff. Um, guys, also you can give us a call anytime, day or night, 404-939-7562. Uh, we would love to help you get started on creating an estate plan and planning for your legacy. Um, you can also email us info at scriberlaw.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.